From dramatic games to unexpected off-field events, the Women's World Cup 2023 had it all. Ever wondered what went on behind the scenes? From viewing the Lord of the Rings during a critical match to politicians making friendly wagers, we're diving into the most unforgettable and quirky moments of the tournament. 1. Unexpected film buffs during tense times. As Australia battled France in a gripping penalty shootout, hearts raced and eyes were glued to the screen. Well, almost everyone's. Imagine being surrounded by the adrenaline and still being engrossed in The Lord of the Rings. A cinematic masterpiece? Absolutely. The right time? Perhaps not. As you see in this photo, one fan was gripped by Lord of the Rings rather than Australia's penalty shootout win against France. Two, watching the right match at the right time? Australia's path to the semi-finals was nothing short of riveting, but former Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce had a different experience. While Australia faced off against France, Joyce was treated to a replay from a past friendly. Talk about a less tense view of the match. Three, the perils of over-celebration. Joy knows no bounds, especially when your team reaches the World Cup semi-finals. But for Australian journalist Isabel Coots, the celebration got a tad too intense, leading to a dislocated shoulder. Now that's commitment to the cause. 4. Keeping it spotless with Team Japan While the battles on the pitch raged on, off the field, Japan made sure they left a lasting impression. And not just with their footballing prowess. Turning cleanliness into a tradition, the Japanese fans and players showed the world that respect for your surroundings is as important as the game. 5. The Colombian Roar in Australia The distance between Colombia and Australia might be vast, but the Colombian spirit echoed loud and clear during the World Cup. With heartwarming national anthems and vibrant displays, the Colombians brought energy, passion and a touch of home to the tournament. 6. A Confused Swedish Exit With the weight of a semi-final on his shoulders, Sweden's coach Peter Gerhardsson faced a slightly embarrassing moment post-news conference. Turns out, finding the right door can be as challenging as navigating tournament strategies. He walks into broom cupboard instead of exit door. 7. VR's public speaking debut. Technology has transformed football. But introducing VR communications to thousands inside a stadium? Well, let's just say it had its memorable and slightly confusing moments. It has had a couple of teething problems, namely in Spain's group game against Zambia when Jennifer Hermoso initially had a goal ruled out for offside. After a lengthy VR check, referee Oh Hyun Jong initially stood by the decision, announcing no goal, but then swiftly backtracked. No wait. No offside. Goal. Eight presidential packs and football. The thrill of the World Cup wasn't limited to the fans and players. It climbed political ladders. Before Australia's quarterfinal against France, Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, tagging French President Emmanuel Macron, wrote on social media, How about a bet, Emmanuel Macron? If the Matildas win tonight, you'll support Australia in the semi-finals. If France win, I'll support France. Deal? Macron took up the bet and followed through on the deal after France lost, throwing his support behind Australia for their semi-final with England. Nothing personal against our English friends, but a bet is a bet, Macron posted. If you enjoyed this recap of the quirkiest moments from the Women's World Cup 2023, give us a thumbs up, share with fellow football enthusiasts, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content.